Hey guys, welcome to Amadou's side quests, which are short, bite-sized videos where I can address topics without having to make long-winded videos on them. And in this first episode, I wanted to talk about why I'm so excited for Days Gone. And I know I already spoke about this in my most anticipated games of 2018 list, but I felt unhappy about how I explained it because of the unscripted nature of the video. So I wanted to sort of redo my thoughts as to why I'm so excited for Days Gone to kick off this new series on my channel. My hype for this game starts because of the studio behind it, Sony Bend, who have actually been around for a long time in the games industry, but now do not get the attention they deserve due to making only handheld games for a long time. But they did catch my eye with Uncharted Golden Abyss, which released on the PS Vita as a launch title, and I really really enjoyed playing that game the whole way through, so it's amazing to see the studio finally helming a major AAA exclusive for the PlayStation platform again, and I have faith that they will deliver. And it also helps that the game itself looks great. Sure, the original gameplay demo from 2016 was rough around the edges, that's just a fact, but as we keep seeing more of the game, it looks better and better, with improvements to both graphics and gameplay. I like how it's a mix of The Last of Us and Tomb Raider with crafting and using your environment to your advantage present within the game. They also have confirmed dynamic weather and alternate ways to complete your goals, but it also seems to be serving up an interesting narrative. Sony Bend already confirmed that the game will have hours of cinematics, so they really are focusing on the story, and I really like that. And I also like how they chose to center on a biker as the main protagonist. This is simply refreshing because we don't get games with bikers as the main character. So again, it's just really refreshing to see one used in this kind of role. It's also interesting to think about how biker codes and morals will hold up in a post-apocalyptic world, which is again something we never ever get to see in games. Also, the main character, Deacon St. John, looks to be a very broken and uncaring character, and I'm interested to see where this story will take him and how he will live and develop in this world. I also like how they took a different approach with their zombies, instead calling them freakers, that aren't just lifeless zombies, but are more like infected people who actually need to sleep in order to survive. And just the amount that Deacon will be fighting at once on screen seems like it can give Dead Rising 3 a run for its money. Lastly, I just wanted to talk about its delay to 2019 and what it means for the game. Although I am disappointed that it's not coming out this year because August would have been the perfect release date for Days Gone, more time doesn't hurt and if they are just making the game smoother and are ironing out bugs, then give them as much time as they need. However, 2019 is a really, well, let's just say inconvenient time for Days Gone to release, as 2019 is possibly the year when The Last of Us Part 2 and Death Stranding release, which are both hotly anticipated post-apocalyptic PlayStation exclusives. Days Gone doesn't really stand a chance against them, especially The Last of Us, but there is a way for it to turn out okay. They just got a release days gone before those two games, early in the year. I would say February would be perfect for days gone, with The Last of Us releasing in May or June and Death Stranding coming out in September. This gives each game about three months of breathing room between each other, which will hopefully lessen the fatigue of the genre and not have people skip on days gone just to play The Last of Us. In conclusion, Days Gone is just a game that has a lot of potential in my eyes, and it has all the right tools it needs to succeed. A great game developer, tons of time to work on it, a promising story, diverse and dynamic gameplay, and a cool take on zombies. Now, I don't think Days Gone is going to be the next Last of Us or Uncharted or Horizon Zero Dawn or anything like that. I just want it to be a great game with reviews averaging an 80 or more so that Sony Ben can continue to make big AAA experiences like this or even improve on Days Gone to create an even better and amazing sequel. I believe in this game, and if you didn't before, hopefully at least this video made you more open minded to it for its release in 2019. 
Anyways, that's it for this side quest. Thank you guys for checking this out. I really do like the idea of this series because my main videos do take a while to make and edit and I want to be able to put out more content for you guys to enjoy. So thank you all again for watching, expect more side quests to come in the future, and I'll see you all next time.